Well, this morning, Central Texas school districts are encouraging students and staff to wear green to honor the people killed and injured in a Hayes CISD school bus crash. Classes are canceled today at Tom Green Elementary School in Buda. And on Friday, a school bus carrying pre-K students was on its way back from a field trip to the Bastrop Zoo when it crashed into a cement truck. One pre-K student and one man died in the crash. It's difficult. It's something we actually do for a living, but it's difficult when you find children this young that are involved in a crash, especially when there's a deceased or major injuries. Today, special resources will be available at the school for those who need them. And KVU's Eric Pointer joins us now live from the school in Hayes County. So, Eric, what are they offering instead of class today? Good morning. Nivon, you can see there is a tribute here to those who are involved right now. There are some balloons, flowers, stuffed animals, and even a drawing that someone has left here uh, for, again, those who are involved in the situation. And we know that here at this campus, they will offer crisis and trauma counselors for students and staff members who want those resources. Now, KVU News spoke to the mother of one of those students who wished not to be named, and she says that she was there for the trip, but not on the bus. She says that the students had a good time and they were full of life and they were happy until that tragedy struck. Now, her son was all right. He was carried off the bus by a nearby neighbor, but she says that her heart goes out to the family who lost their child. It's the worst imaginable thing to ever happen to a parent to lose a child, especially so young. And they were just having a super fun time on a field trip. You know, you would never think that that would happen. Now, yesterday, she and another community member took towels to that neighbor to replace the ones who use that they he used to carry children off of the bus. And they also set up a roadside memorial in addition to the one that's set up here. And they hope that the memorials, both the one here and the one in Bastrop where that crash happened, they hope that they serve as a reminder to those who drive by to slow down and be careful. Yvonne. Eric, thank you so much. Live for us in Hayes County. And you know, Cave, you also spoke to a former fourth grade teacher at Tom Green who created a GoFundMe to help raise money for hospital bills or expenses for the impacted families. So far, more than $63,000 have been raised. For more information on how you can help, visit our website, caveview.com.